Hello and welcome back. I had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And today is Monday. Personally, I'm not a Monday kind of guy. Anyway, so this morning I'm going to make another video on water quality. So over the weekend, I know water is a very boring subject, but over the weekend I did some research on it. And I'm going to shout out to all those people out there. I was doing wrong with TDS meter, okay? This is wrong. Okay. So this is right about what's reading it, but comes to what telling us on information, the water quality information, I was wrong about that. Because uh, TDS means total dissolved solid, okay? It's gonna tell you uh, how much step in your water, but they're not gonna tell you what's in it. So you have no idea what's in it. So, but, so make, so if you wanna use this one, this uh, meter properly, you need to get a pH meter, okay? So this one tell you the, your pH balance, one through 14. So how, you know, uh, acid it, your water are to alkaline is. So kind of like uh, tell you what pH balance of your water is. So if you're gonna use it at home, uh, get both of these, okay? But make sure using the pH uh, meter, you have to calibrate it. So there's a plenty of video on that on YouTube. So if you decide to get one, just you know, just uh, calibrate before you guys are using it. And by the way, this both devices are pretty inexpensive. This one cost me 15 bucks, $12 on this one. So very inexpensive. Is that 100% accurate? No, but get you there. Okay, it's gonna be give you the the baseline, how you know what kind of quality water you have. So. So this morning I have, well, let's see, I got, uh, you know what, let me give you guys a close up here. So this morning I have, again, uh, same as the last time. So this is my reverse osmosis water. Not quite though, this one is I'm getting from water station in Tucson. I usually buy five gallon at a time. So you, this is like reverse osmosis plus to add some little bit of mineral as well. So this is my filter water from my refrigerator. And this is my tap water. So this morning, you know what, let's check. Okay, and let's start with, let's try one more time. Okay, so let's just start with, uh, uh, let's see, my water station water. Okay, so this one reads around, uh, hold on a second here, around 13 or so, okay, which means 13 millions per part, okay? So it's not much in there. So this is my filter water from my refrigerator. Okay, hold on here. Hold on a second, I need to clear that first. Let's try one more time. This one tell you 300 or 132. Okay, so 332, I'm gonna clean it. And so 332 on this one, so tap water is, we are at 376. Okay. So, so obviously the reverse osmosis water from the water station is up. They don't have much. But with the filter water and tap water, about the same, okay? So we got the 316 versus 370. So, I mean, still a lot of stuff in there. So we have no idea what that is. So, but pH balance uh, meter going to tell us what kind of water this is. But meantime, let me share with you, uh, let's see, the recommendation from the SCAA, that's the Specialty Coffee Association of America. They recommend around 150 uh, uh, millions per, parts per million uh, for the specialty, you know, the recommendation of water quality. So 150 million. No, I'm sorry. That's right. 150 million per, per million. But comes to acceptable range is about between 75 and 250. So, so tap water and filter water is not, based on their number, it's not acceptable. Let's put it that way, okay? So, okay, let's go on to uh, pH balance. Okay, so let's do one more time here. So let's do pH. So with the pH balance, 
Let's start with water filter, uh, water station water. I'm looking at 7.4. 7.3, hold on a second, 7.2, so around between like 7.2 around there. So let's clean this up. The next one, we're going to do filter water around 6. Point, around 7, okay. Filter water from refrigerator around 7 or so. So that's pretty good. Okay, so lastly, we're going to go tap water. So around 7.2. So it comes to pH balance. So I get a pretty good result from the filter water from the refrigerator. PPM is parts per million. Yeah, PPM is parts per million. So Let's see, let's go back to reverse osmosis water. A little higher though, okay, 7.6 or so. 7.4. So, but the fact is, everything is already acceptable range. Okay, so everything is already acceptable range there. And uh, the fact is, there's a lot of the different water recipes out there. I know I saw one of uh, James Hoffman's video a while ago you can actually make your own water, okay? You can get a reverse osmosis water with mixed with Epsom salt and some baking soda. And, but there are a lot of work, okay? I'm gonna do a shout out to Rich. Uh, he gave me some recipe from the Brewster Hustle. They did in depth a study on it and they give you guys a great recipe. But again, for most of us, that's a lot of work, guys, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I, I want to make coffee in the morning. I don't need additional step, okay? I mean, if you want to make, you know, if you want to get the good water, you could buy the bottled water. The spring bottled water has a good mineral content there as well. But there's a lot of waste plastic and it, it gets costly. It gets really costly. So having said that, so here's what I'm doing right now. So I, so I get five gallon uh, water uh, water jug every other day or so. I just go down to local water station. I just I just get it myself. I mean, it costs about what one dollar or so, dollar for five gallons. So that's very uh, comes to cost wise pretty good. So what I did was I mixed my water station water and a little bit of uh, my water filter water from refrigerator. So now I have this water. So this water, if I'm going to measure it for the pH balance. I'm gonna get around seven point, around seven or so, okay? And then, comes to TDS. That's a total dissolved uh, solid. I'm at around 70, uh, actually 95. So, so this is kind of like acceptable water from, uh, based on the Specialty Coffee Association. Specialty Coffee Association, they recommend that comes to TDS balance. The TDS is by between 75 and 250. And then pH balance around 6.5 uh, 6 to 7.5. So, so based on this one, so this is good water to, you know, I can, you know, start using it at home, okay? But again, so I think this is my, by my method, okay? Uh, let me know what you guys, if you guys make your own cough, the water at home, please let me know in the comment section as well because I want something easy and because I don't want to mess with mixing Eps, uh, Epsom salt, what else, baking soda, and I mean, distilled water, play with that all the time. No, I don't want to do that. So, I mean, if this is something interests you, I'm going to put the link down below about uh, this website, I think this website uh, from UK actually, they give you the talk about the water quality. So I'm gonna put that link down below as well. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. So Andy shares that yeah. he uses spring water in four liter jugs and the jugs, the water from the jugs say 125 parts per million. Okay, so it's Andy's uh, using the spring. spring water. You have to buy that, Andy, or you? I, I bet you have to buy the spring water from the grocery store, I assume. Yeah, grocery store, yeah. 
because they tell you on the because whenever you buy me, uh, water from grocery store, you have to tell you what's the water content is. So that's really that's a lot easier than you kind of like mix yourself for sure. Okay, so reverse osmosis water is not the best because there's no uh, mineral content inside. You know, it, so there's no solid to, because if water is pure, uh, it's not good on your machine. Okay, so I mean, what I, that's exactly what I did. So I, I got the reverse osmosis type of water from the water station, and then I add some, you know, for your case, add some tap water, get a little bit, and then and make sure get. I think pH balance, I'm not too worried about pH balance because I mean, mo even the reverse osmosis has, correct me if I'm wrong, but has a decent pH balance already there. But I got the TDS meter to just find out what is your, the solid parts per million is. Because, because again, the pure water is not good for your machine. Um. By the way, I'm not an expert at this, okay? I'm just kind of like pass, that, uh, pass it on to you for what I read this morning and yesterday. Okay, what else? Um, Jamin says he's testing third wave water right now. So, uh, so uh, Jamin is uh, testing out the third wave water. The third wave water is, they've been around for quite a few years now. They make this package, okay? I believe they uh, make a gallon, a uh, little tap, and then you can get a five gallon, the package as well. So give you exact the mineral content and the pH balance. So yeah, Jamin, uh, let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Because especially you have a very nice machine. So, you know, again, you want to protect your, your investment. But even with Brista Express, the water is a key. You know, you have to have a good water to make good coffee, a good tasting coffee. Unless if you are using like latte or so, milk-based drink, you're not going to tell the difference there. But whenever you're drinking good espresso or a good Americano, you are going to tell the difference between if you are using soft water versus hard water. So because it gives you a different tasting profile. Okay, so yeah, so Dane, Dane, uh, they mentioned about the website called Coffee Snob. A forum. A forum. So they, I mean, this forum's out there, I know, let's say, the Brista Hustle, and they have a lot of coffee geeks, I think, a couple of other websites out there. They talk about pretty much coffee. I mean, a lot more than I do. So, so make sure to check it out that as well. Before I made the mix. Okay, so, so Jamin is say uh, his water at 173. 178. 178 for the uh, ppm, the parts per million. So I mean that's 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 right on. That's right on their uh, SC. That's the specialty coffee, the recommendation. They're recommending around around 150. So they say acceptable range is between 75 and 250. It's a very big range there. So I think you are on the right spot and uh, yeah i mean again once you start getting into coffee and start thinking about the water quality so so we have to think about the quality of beans okay okay quality of the beans plus we have to worry about the quality of the, your machine and the, your grinder what else now we have to think about the water as well so if, if you don't want to do all that Okay, the simple fact is just get yourself tap water. That's okay too. But make sure you gotta descale it regularly. And then so I descale my Brista Express whenever I had a light comes on. But if you are using hot water, if a light comes on maybe let's say every three months, uh, try to descale it every month, okay? So if you are if you wanna use just a regular tap water, because you have to do that because I mean all depend on the reason 
in Arizona, water here is pretty, a lot has uh, a lot of mineral in it, really hard water here, so it's not good for the machine. So Don has a question. Hey, Hoon, what minerals can you add to get the right PPM but also have the best tasting water? Okay, so someone asked me about the what mineral, so because you don't want a calcium, I think, I think there's a device, a water softener, a couple of water softener for different machines, but correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but so you can have this uh, water softener that change calcium to magnesium. So, so there, there's different way to do it. So I think you, you don't want a calcium on your water for sure. That's how I know. Somebody shares or asks, the water from your refrigerator doesn't seem to have hurt your BBE over the last couple of years. Are you just worried about taste? Okay, someone asked me, have you guys seen me for the last couple years? I've been using my refrigerator water, okay? I haven't had any issues with it. But I, ever since I got this, you know, it could be in my head as well, okay? I'm really more conscious about the water quality. And, and I want to have a little better tasting water because my, uh, my water from the water station that tastes a lot better the refrigerator so that's why I'm starting mixing it so give me the better tasting quality for whatever I make like uh, Americano or long black I think that's the only reason but I'm not too worried about the machine is going bad because this one does not have boiler it has this called thermal block so it has a I like to just clean up the line uh, every month so I'm definitely clean it out every uh, whenever light comes on but if you guys have a single boiler, like uh, eventually a Servia or guys a Classic Pro, if you have a hard water, if you are using the tap water, make sure uh, clean your, make sure you descale it regularly. Linda has a question about higher heat on the VDE. How do I know if it's plus two or plus four? Okay, so Linda asked a great question. How do you know about the the water temperature on Bristol Express. Because as you guys know, the single cup represent plus two, double cup represent plus four. So one of our users like darker roast, I stay with a, a factory set. So factory set is around 200 degree there, plus minus a few degree. So one of our users like lighter roast, I like to go maybe plus two and they're really light, I like to go plus four. So it's all, that's something you have to play with. But make sure before that, you know, warm, make sure warm up your portal filter, okay? Even though water is coming up at the right temperature, but whenever I hit, hit under this cold portal filter, it's gonna cool down significantly. Um, somebody asked, is it okay to use water from the refrigerator? Someone asked me, uh, can I use, filter water from refrigerator. Uh, yes, I've been using it for years, but make sure to do the descale regularly. So whenever I have a lights turns on, de uh, descale it right away, okay? Because even the filter water, I mean, the pH balance is right on it, you know, very close to use, but comes the TDS meter, say it's pretty high, uh, the solid content in there, so yeah, so you don't want that either, so. Just make sure you clean it regular. I think you should be fine. Andy shares that the best max filter does that. It removes calcium and replaces with magnesium. Okay, so Andy mentioned about the max best, fil max. best max filter. So it replaces calcium with magnesium. Okay, I'm gonna check it out, Andy. And then Julie, yeah, and then Julie says, I heard you need magnesium in water yep. to extract. Yeah, so Julie also mentioned about the magnesium to extract good espresso. So, I mean, that is, I think that you're absolutely correct. So again, so pretty much, so TDS meter tell you what's, how much in it, okay? The pH meter tell you is water is hard or soft or hard or not. But again, so I need to know what's what, okay? So I need, it's how much magnesium versus how much calcium. So. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do next week or so, trying to figure out what's the best way to get the water quality up. Oh, it's a lot to it. Dane asks, have you measured the water out of the BBE to see if the Breville filters work well? Okay, so I did not use a filter on my Brista Express. 
Okay, I, d I don't use my Bravo uh, filter. I'm, I just used uh, my uh, filter water from, I'm just right now mixing reverse osmosis and my filter water, I just mix it. But that's not a bad idea though, okay? I think I should definitely look into that. Get the filter and see. Does uh, Jamin ask, can, uh, does the water have to be at a certain temperature to get a correct TDS reading? Uh, Jamin asking about the a certain, t yes, um, I mean, as long as it's uh, room temperature, you should be okay. But I'm not sure, but I'm not sure, but I think room temperature, you don't want to use ice cold water, so yeah. And um, Rocket Andre says, Rocket recommends not to descale their machines, saying there's always residue in the boiler, so you need the right water from the start. Yep, so Andre say the, the Rocket, uh, recommend do not descale it. So with the rocket, I was looking at it. So rocket sells this pouch, uh, makes your water soft. So turn uh, calcium into magnesium. So that pouch should last you about between six months to a year. You just wet it and then put on your uh, water tank and it should last for a long time. I guess I heard some different stories on it. I know I was talking to you know I was watching Seattle Coffee Gear video the rocket recommend just service it every couple of years you know once every couple of years to kind of clean out the uh, the heating elements and stuff like that but I mean I mean if you are buying you know if you are spending a couple thousand dollars on machine sure I mean that's definitely worth doing it but people like us using Brista Express or eventually a Servia the entry-level model I don't know that's how real, realistic that is. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think. I mean, you guys willing to send your machine to service to the manufacturer? It'd be really interesting to, you know, I mean, I mean be, that's the ideal way to do it, but. Are those water tools on Amazon? Okay, so someone asked me these water tools on Amazon. Yes, I mean, I got just, just again, very inexpensive, okay? So everything, is, I'm gonna put the link down below as well, but yes, you can get it from Amazon. Okay, so L. L. Cool Ray mentioned about uh, the pouch from Rocket, those pouch. I, okay, so what I heard was th those pouch, so you're going to, once you rinse it, put it inside the water, and then it has to work through. So maybe if you do that at nighttime, following morning, you are ready to use. So, I mean, around, yeah, you're right. I think they say 15 hours. I mean, okay, they say 15 hours if you are using the water pitcher. But if you are using the water machine, water tank, you know, just put it in there, just put it, keep refilling it. So, so because I definitely, I don't want to use every single morning. Just keep refilling it every time, so. All right. Andy shared that many of those machines look pretty simple to do the descaling yourself versus sending it in. Okay, so. I mean, uh, Andy also mentioned about, I mean, all these motions are pretty easy to descale. But again, the one thing you have to remember, those rockets, they actually dismantle the heating elements and just clean it properly. So that's the difference between. For us, we use the descaling, uh, this powder solution. But I think uh, rocket does differently. Okay, so meantime, you know what? Uh, any other question about water? If not, okay, let's make some since this is coffee channel at all. So let's make some coffee. So this is coffee. I just opened it this morning. Uh, it's called Gioconda coffee. So this is their espresso blend. And then, okay, so this is new. Hold on. So this is, I just opened it this morning. This is roasted in September. So it's about so October, November. So it's about two and a half months. So I used for this morning, I made a coffee latte this morning. But so right now, let's pull the shot and see what kind of shots we're going to get, okay? Because I'm really anxious to find out this older coffee. So this is over two months old. Where's it from? So Gioconda is from, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I mean, I think I got it a couple months ago. I mean, if Damon, if you want, uh, Dan, if you are watching, do you just send me this? I'm not sure. Smells really good though. 
I know someone sent sending me this a couple months ago. So, okay, smells really good. So, what's the tasting profile here? Let's take a look. Tasting notes. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, so, okay. So, espresso suitable for espresso and international award winning. Okay. Yes, Dane did send them. It, they're from Devonport, Tasmania. Okay, so this means from Dane from Tasmania, Devonport, Tasmania. Yep, it's from yep Zioconda. Okay. So I'm really anxious to try this on espresso. So roasted on 928. So two and a half months old. So it's been stored in, you know, obviously vacuum sealed bag. Just opened it. So let's see how fresh you know, it comes to tasting wise. All right. So let's put some steps away here. Let's see. I think this morning, you know what? I'm thinking about using Let's use a niche grinder, okay? So let's use a niche grinder just for fun. And then see. And I'm going to be using 17 gram of that. So LR Kure mentioned about the BWT water pitcher. I mean, there are, I think BWT is the best one out there, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna heat up my shot glass here. Higher. So I noticed in a live you mentioned running hopper when dining down, but not up. Is that correct? Hopper dining. So Linda asking me about questions. Oh, hold on a second. By the way, if you haven't cleaned your Brista Express built-in grinder in a while, <clears throat> make sure. If you're especially using darker roast, make sure to clean it at least like once every other week. Because I cleaned it yesterday, last night. Man, even with my medium roast, it's pretty, pretty dirty. Okay. So I got 17, you know what, let's do 17.25 gram today. And uh, my grounder setting is at number 18 right now, 17. Okay. All right, so that smells really good still. Yeah. Very fluffy. Let's see here. I'm really anxious to try this bean right now because. So Linda clarified, when dialing number down, do you run the hopper? Oh, oh okay, so Linda asking me. When dialing number so whenever you're using hopper, okay, so if you are going to load the finer size, make sure you have to run your machine, okay, because uh, you have all the beans stuck in the gear. So if you don't run a machine, uh, it's gonna get stuck, it's not gonna do anything. But if you're going up, you don't have to worry about it. But going down, yes, you have to use it. But if you are using single dosing, you don't have to. Okay. So I'm just gonna... All right, so let's give it a shot. And then I'm gonna start, time this. So when I see the first drop of espresso. Mm -hmm. to scale over okay, so Oren mentioned about the, the pure water, you say? Pure water filter. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so let's give it a go here. Pressure looks good. You know what, even though this bin is about over two months old, I get this beautiful crema on the top there. Now I'm gonna stop at 34 gram. And then around 20 second range. So overall, this is fantastic shots. Okay. Looks really good. Looks very good. Because, I mean, comes to timing, the when to start time is like very tricky part with Brista Express because Brista Express has around between 7 to 10 second pre-infusion time. Even though this is 21 second shot, in reality it's around 30 second shot. So, and then because I get a user to get a good results around the pressure wise between like 1 and 2 o'clock range there. If I'm at like 12 o'clock range, my shot is really sour. So that's, that's something you have to watch out for that as well. I'm just going to try this. So this is Geoconda roster from Tanzania. Wait, no, no. Hold on. Devonport, Tan yeah. Tasmania. Tasmania. Okay. Um, Cheers. Should have creamy caramel notes. Good for milk drinks. Mmm. Definitely creamy. I don't know about caramel though, okay? You know what? Let, let's do one more, okay? Let, let's do one more shot. So I'm gonna uh, make the ground a little finer this time. So right now I'm at number 17. So let's go down to number 16 or 15 there. Dane says try as a latte. It's great with milk. Yeah. So Dane told me that So this is really good for latte so you know what let's make latte i'm going to adjust my grinder setting to 15 and then let's pull another shot and then let's make a latte you know what? let's make cappuccino okay Let, let's let's do milk based drink this morning david shares i can see who modifying the lid of the niche at some point in the future to add a hole for the hand pump to blow air and eliminate any retention you know what uh dave mentioned about the uh, you, actually, my buddy did that. Uh, he make a little hole and you can put the hand pump there. But the problem with this is you, you gotta, it's really tricky because you have that notch on the side and uh, you have to push that one in to work, okay? So, but same time, I'm definitely looking into making the pump on uh, Brista Express for sure because I know a lot of people go like this. Let me show you. Just pump it. You see that beans come out. So I know some people does that. So, so you can definitely add some kind of air pump. I know a couple of my viewers did. Okay, so let's make a cappuccino using uh, Geoconda beans from Davenport, Tanzania, uh, Tan uh, Tanzania. Okay, so again, the beans still good, okay? So as long as you are store your beans in original bag, I mean, if you haven't opened it, should last for a couple of months for sure. I mean, you know, I mean, more than a couple of months. Make sure you put that in the dark and dry place. But once you open it, and then just make sure you put it in the airtight or vacuum sealed place. Should last you another month or so. Okay. So. Okay. What's calling the sour shot? Oh, someone uh, just bought a Brista Express. If you got a sour shot, means you are you are under extracted, or your water is cold as well. So just make sure warm up your water properly, and if you have to change your water temperature to like plus two, okay. So we're gonna do another seventeen gram here. What? What? 
and uh, I'm, I'm getting some more. So yeah. No. So Dane asked me, this is my last bag. I think I have, hold on. I think that is the, my last bag, Dane. But it's okay. I mean, I'm getting some more beans from other vendors as well. I mean, your bean has been, goodness, uh, last, us what, couple months now? So, by the way, if you are looking for, again, a single dosing coffee grinder, definitely check out the niche. They're simply, they're really nice to use. I swear if you ask me how many cups I drink, I only use two cups, that's it. I got morning and one early afternoon and done. Twin done. Okay. He says he does single shots in order to justify four cups per day. Okay. I'm just going to hit up my cup. Okay, the, by the way, the problem with the, you are making your own water recipe, because every time I kind of like warm up the machine or uh, warm up the cum, I waste that water, okay? That's on, another reason I'm kind of like hesitate making my own water with uh, even like distilled water, because you will waste a lot of water with this, so, okay. So I'm gonna be doing, again, uh, one to two ratio. Uh, with a latte, uh, yeah, I, with a latte, I like a little longer, maybe like one to 2.5 ratio. There you go. Meantime, I'm gonna get my milk ready. So right now, I'm at, at around two o'clock range there for water pressure. I'm in nine seconds into it. As you can see, I hopefully I can show you guys quickly. Quick. Oh, I got 34 gram again. So pretty much I'm using the uh, regular mode that times out at about certain time. So Brista Express uses a volumetric. So after a certain time, uh, shuts up. So that's why whenever I use like higher extraction, I prefer manual mode over uh, standard mode. Okay. Meantime. Make some milk here. So this morning I already made two latte this morning. So this is my third latte. So I mean Bristol Express. I mean it's no problem making like two, three, four at a time. Making latte. It is a little slow process, but it's not too bad. Uh, by the way, please let me know in the comment section if you are planning on buying any coffee gadgets uh, this holiday season or something you guys like to get. So let me. I know someone wants to see. Yeah, Thomas, you want to see the top down view of the view? I'm going to have my wife to show you guys. Actually, yeah, his milk is almost done, so. I think I should do that sometime this week. I'm gonna have my wife to hold the camera, so. 
you guys can see what I do with my milk. Okay. So you want to be kind of like the like wet paint, and also even with I just wiped it, has this uh, burn mark there. And the, what I like to do is, actually one of my viewers told me the other day, get a hot water running, like so. You can just clean it and just wipe it down. Actually it works pretty good. Okay. So milk should be like this, okay, somewhat creamy and kind of like wet paint. Okay, so let's do some latte art. The key to latte art is slow. Okay, you gotta go really, really slow. So that's my problem. I go really fast, but I'm just gonna go slow as possible. Oops. So, anyway, so something like that, guys. I'm making a big mess. Hold on. But looks good though. Okay, that's unfortunate. All right. Anyway, so so whenever doing the pulling the latte art, go slow. Okay, don't go too fast. So shout out to you, Dane. So so let's try this. Wow. You know what? You're right, Dane. So this is really good with. Uh, milk baked drink for sure. Okay, that's fantastic and really good. I mean, actually, I'm really enjoying this. I don't need to put any sugar in it because I prefer like pump up caramel. But this, yeah, this is fantastic for milk bakes. Okay, what else? Any questions? Yeah, Linda asked. So her BBE is at an hour grind of three. She's been using 17 grams and only gets to 10 or 11 o'clock range, still sour. Should I go up in my dose to 18 maybe? Okay, so is that Linda? Uh -huh. so, so I'm gonna, Linda asked me, her grinder setting is at number three right now. She's using 17 grams and still sour. Sour means you are under extracted. So number three, so you know what? Uh, Goodness, uh, try to change the interval setting, okay? Whatever numbers you have your interval setting, go one step lower. If your interval set at five, go down to number four, okay? And then uh, stay at number three, and then up your dose to number uh, like 18 gram, and see how it goes there, okay? She said, yeah, it's six. Okay, so six, go down to number five. Actually, better yet, go down to number four, <clears throat> okay? Go down to number four, and then change your outer setting to number four as well. So four and four and see how it goes. Should she tamp harder, someone else? Okay, so tamping does help, okay? But yeah, try that too. Definitely tamp a little harder, but I think the grinder setting definitely helped the most. Um, and Dane just got his BMOR 2020 AB Plus. Oh. Today. So I'm gonna shout out to Dane. He got a B more 2020. 2020 plus. That is the latest uh, uh, coffee roaster from B more. They are fantastic. Okay, so uh, let me know how it goes. Okay, and then maybe we can do live roasting on that as well. Maybe you can show us how to do that day, because B more makes I think B more makes the best home roaster out there, and the price is right, really good quality. They've been around for a long, long time. I'm still using their Beamer 1600, not the Plus 1600 from years ago, over 10 years ago. So yeah, you're gonna have a good time with it. Ice Wolfie asked, just a curious question. What, what is Hoon looking forward to upgrading next for future videos? Okay, so the, uh, Ice Wolfie asking me what kind of things I'm looking forward to. The fact is I am upgrading Brista Express. Okay, no, no, not the upgrading in the new machine. I'm going to fix it up this. I'm going, I just ordered the parts from Bravo. So I'm going to be replacing, and I'm going to surprise you guys, okay? We're going to do the unboxing, 
and then we are going to kind of like you know refresh this machine and also I ordered some stuff for my uh, San Anthony the mirror right coffee grinder so I bought some other stuff to the side I'm planning on making a little uh, outdoor package the based on the hand grinder so I, I got some fun package as well because if you go to San Anthony industry website you can you can purchase their brewing kit okay they make this beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, maple box with the letter strap on it has the hand grinder and their pour over system with beautiful setup beautiful setup it's, it's almost four hundred dollars but I'm trying to make that similar concept at affordable price so so that's something I'm working on it as well hopefully we're gonna get that end of this week so comes to upgrading machine I'm not sure because I'm so far I'm really happy with the Brista Express I know a lot of you out there want, want me to get newer machine okay I know you guys are some bored with I'm working with the Brista Express all the time I'm still enjoying this Rancholia Sylvia is sitting in that corner right there they're really fun and challenging to use. So, I mean, once I kind of like get used to both machines, especially Renturia really Serbia, and then I'm gonna be thinking about definitely the newer machine. So, uh, by the way, okay, so, so here's a surprise for, not a surprise, but I think about 47, 47 of you watching my channel right now. Okay, so whoever guessed my age right now, and I'm gonna send you guys my uh, 3D dosing funnel right now, okay? Guess my age. Okay, guess my age and uh, whoever wins, I'm gonna send you the, uh, I think I have quite a few, okay? I'm gonna send you guys a 3D dosing funnel. Let's see who else, we got 44, 42. Okay, 38. 38. Okay, come on, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Wow, 57. 57. Okay, good. Yes, you can guess more than once. Yeah, yeah. T t come on, you can guess. 28. <laughs> Actually, you can only guess once, okay? Julie says not 57. Okay, so once. Okay, come on. And whoever wins, I'm going to send it out. Amy's close. Honey, don't, don't say close, okay? Do not give the... Okay. Come on, guys. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to ship it out oh. to the... Who's that? Amy Doe. Amy Doe. Okay, you are the winner. And who's next? Goshzilla979. Okay, so we got... So Amy Doe was the first, right? Uh-huh. So Amy Doe, you are the winner. Okay. So... Uh, you, you can get my email, send me an email, okay, on uh, my, if you go to my uh, channel, actually better, yeah, go to my Instagram and direct message me, Amy, and then, so, uh, with your address, I'm going to ship it out to you today. Great. Perfect. So, um, my planning on doing some, like, fun game like this next few days, uh, coming weeks, and uh, I have quite a few uh, 3D dosing funnels, so, and then uh, ho hopefully I can give it away those. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And let's see. Um, there was a, what? Uh, there was a question. Someone has questions? Oh, uh, Dane says, Hoon, is there a way for you to go live on YouTube with others? I really enjoyed your live with Dylan on Insta. That type of video would be great for this channel. You know what? I love to. Dane asked me about great question because can I do YouTube live on with people like Instagram live? But unfortunately, current setup through YouTube, there's no uh, setup like that because since I'm using the iPhone, because if I'm using the like some other computer setup, some other fancy setup, I could do it. But with the Instagram is so much easier, so that is unfortunate. That's why uh, whenever I do Instagram Live, I start from the YouTube Live and then I'm just bring people into Instagram Live so we can see everybody. So, so I mean that's the like short term fix for now. Could you do it if you had like used your Canon camera? Uh, if so, I mean if I again that's a little more, more setup involved. So I have to do some research on it though because there's uh, there's way to do it. 
you know, I can have some people bring in on live, on my YouTube live. This is a lot of fun as well. Uh, having on Dylan was really fun and I do, you know, a lot of interview as well. But anyway, so let me look into that as well. So anyway, I'm going to congrat uh, con uh, congratulate you, Amy. Amy. Amy, though, you are the first winner. Actually, this is my first kind of like giveaway type. So uh, that's a lot of fun there. Okay, with the Bravo Infuser, you can uh, change, adjust, okay? You can adjust the temperature on uh, Bravo Infuser, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then, Thanks. perfect. Uh, by, by the way, just Amy, just uh, uh, message me with your address, and then I'm going to ship it up. see what, um, what she's getting. What? Okay, so Amy is going to get, I'm going to send in her, it's, it's not going to be white, okay, it's going to be a different color, but she's going to get a dosing funnel for this. So, and this is perfect for, this is, if you get from Amazon, it's about 30 bucks, but it's well worth it buying, okay, because it make your life a lot easier, it comes to making coffee. I know it's the, the guy, Jonathan, invented this uh, a couple years ago, and it's really, really good to use. So anyway, so uh, upcoming week, I'm, I'm just going to planning on doing for another giveaway for the, my friends in like other countries like Australia or UK, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of like target those reasons as well, because it's hard to get those in funnel like this in other countries. I mean, if you are living in U.S., you can just log on to Amazon, but man, I mean, I know that friends in other country, they don't ship it to, uh, even, I don't think they ship it to UK though. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's going to be fun uh, coming up, uh, uh, coming weeks before Christmas. Can you give another one of those away? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm planning on giving away uh, more this week, okay? So just make sure you watch my YouTube uh, live in the morning and see, I'm, I might surprise you. Okay, Linda, I'm still working on that, okay? I like to make your hazelnut syrup fresh. So, because I could get a, uh, just a bottle, but I guess I prefer make the fresh hazelnut syrup for you. You know, it's come, come up with a good recipe, so, and then mix with a real hot, uh, uh, not hot chocolate, but the real cocoa, 100% cocoa. So come up with some cool recipe, so. Any yes, how much did you go up from general setting water degrees? Okay, my current setup right now, you know what? Maybe I can show you guys. So if I comes to program, hit the program button. So right now I'm at plus two right now. Okay, so my setup at plus two degree for my water temperature. Okay, are we good for this morning? Okay, so thank you so much for watching this morning. Okay, I'm going to shout out to Amy Doe. And hopefully you are going to enjoy this. And see you guys tomorrow morning.